What's going on everybody? Dan's Midwest Angling here and today we're going to talk about tip-ups. Ice fishing season is now in full swing and the tip-up is one of the great workhorses of the ice season. But sometimes people might have questions on how to actually rig these or maybe you're looking for a better way. Well look no further. This is the best way that i found to rig these things up. Now as you can see here we've got two of the most common types of tip-ups. This one is a plank and this one is a cross style. Each of these tip-ups has their pros and cons, things that they're good at, applications that you would use them on. Typically the plank style is more sensitive, while the cross style typically totes a much larger reel which allows for a fish to run a lot further. Usually you would use these on much bigger game like big pike, but all in all the rigging of these is the same. Let's get started with what you're going to need. You'll need a tip-up, of course. You'll need a reel wrap, a snap swivel, a barrel swivel, a hook, a split shot weight, and a line marker. I like to spool my tip-ups with about 100 yards of tip-up line. And then for leaders, I usually just get some sort of a cheap monofilament. You can use monofilament or fluorocarbon, depending on your preferences. I'm going to start by taking my tip-up line, I'm going to take one of these line markers. Now these are currently discontinued, it doesn't seem like HT is making them, they're sponge floats. Uh, but they do make a different style that I will put a link in the description for. I like these because I can just thread them on. And all they use to stay on the line is a simple toothpick. Next I'm going to take my snap swivel and I'm going to tie it on. I'm just going to use a simple uni knot for this. If you don't ever plan on switching out your leaders, you may simply do a uni to uni knot to tie your main line to your leader line. But I like to switch the types of fishing that I like to do in the species that I target. So I'm putting on a snap swivel so that way I can switch out rigs in a moment's time and be ready to go. Next I'm going to take my leader line. I'm going to tie this barrel swivel to that. I'm going to pull out about, oh, foot and a half of line. Now I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to tie a snell knot. Just like that. And now to finish the leader, I'm going to put a slit shot weight about halfway down the line. This will help keep the minnow down in the water at the depth that you prefer. And there. Now we just have to put the barrel swivel into our snap swivel. And now we're good to go. So now we can wind that back on here. And the last touch is where one of these rear wraps comes in handy. I got these from a guy that made them himself. So I'm going to put a link to the description to an Etsy store where you can pick up some similar pieces. These are a lifesaver. You simply put the hook through the grommet. and then just wrap it around. There. Now you don't have to worry about your line getting all tangled. The beautiful thing about using the snap swivels is that now I can take this very small hook that I would use for walleye and 
just as quickly as I'm doing right now. I can swap this out for another rig. You can also buy pre-made rigs instead of making your own, if you want to save a little bit of time. And there, in no time at all, I've switched out this walleye leader for a thick pike leader. And as you can see, these rear wraps work great for these plank style tip-ups as well. I hope this video has helped you rig your tip-ups a little easier. And make your time on the ice a lot more enjoyable and not chasing snags and tangles. This has been Dan's Midwest Angling. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.